Many people have wanted the approval of their own. And they sought their own glory. Amen. Sometimes we wonder. And I know, I've been there. We think. Call somebody up or talk to somebody say, how'd I do? (laughs) 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 If any knows what I'm talking about. What do you think about that? (laughs) Boy, I thought it was good. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Lord. God's just shaking his head. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Help us, Lord. Amen. I'm sorry. How was my singing? Did it sound good? Oh, how many knows what I'm talking about? It's easy to get over into that. (laughs) Uh, Amen. Call everybody if we know. Tune in tonight. (laughs) Be sure to tune in. I'm going to be a so-and-so. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Woo, let me get my composure here. Now, we shouldn't be doing that. Amen. What we should be concerned about. <laughs> Is that okay, Lord? Was that okay? Oh, praise God. Did I do all right? If you're going to ask anybody, ask him. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Praise the Lord. And you know, all of us are somewhat alike in that area. We'd like to, we'd like to hear somebody say, well, boy, that was a good message. Amen. It blesses me to hear people say, boy, that blessed me. That blesses me. And, and really, it ain't nothing to do with me. What we sh- who we should be asking and inquiring about these things is the Lord. Lord, is that okay? Yeah. And I'll tell you already, by the Holy Spirit, you'll know already. You don't have to ask. He helps you. You know when he's helping you. If you know the Holy Spirit, and then you know when when you're about on your own. And where we're on our own is when we start speaking on our own authority. He's not going to anoint us and help us to speak our own words and seek our own glory. <laughs> Amen. 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 Only God will. When he helps us, then we've been helped. And and then he speaks of himself. He don't speak. You notice he don't. He'll, he'll bless us. He'll change things in our life. You'll come up the ladder. But only because. You're talking about him. And he wants that. Amen. He wants that. So if you have a heart for God. Don't worry about where you are now. You're going somewhere. You can count on it. He'll bless you. You say, but, and I know. Some people think, well, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm not appreciated. It doesn't matter. What difference does it make? Amen. Keith Moore said one time, he said, somebody said, praying, you know, Lord, use me, use me, use me. A few months went by and there's a doing this and that in the church and there's a getting them to do this and that and then next thing they said, I just feel so used. Exactly. You're being used. I feel like they don't appreciate me but I'm doing this and that. And so. You're being used. Now be happy about it. But if God's got a calling on your life and you know it and you're in a place 
Just stay there. Be humble. Look to God. Trust Him. Serve Him. You'll come up. Your day's just not there yet. Just hang on. He said, if you'll humble yourself before the Lord, He'll exalt you. We don't need to be exalted unless it's time. That's, you, that's only going to get you in trouble. Because you ain't ready. You know, the Bible talks about novices. Don't be a novice in the pulpit. You know, uh, you know they really don't have no business here. Now, now, I'm not saying God won't use you. He will use you. But only in a measure. You have to be prepared for this. Let me say this. I'm going to meddle here just a little bit, and then I want to say some more stuff here. If 